open the doors, we can see the interior. In this case, it has some Brabus bits, but most of the time it is a AMG interior, premium plus package. So as you can see, the floor mats are Brabus. The aluminum pedals, these are the Burmester sound speaker, full electric seats with AMG Nappa leather. This is like a foil, like a leather foil, something like that. And you have a, a tension here. You can see the door pockets, which are quite large. Burmester speaker also in the lower part of the door. And you know, this is where, where it's changing this material. And you can see the lights there. So when you unlock the vehicle, these lights will light up. So you can see, uh, yeah, this is like a design element basically. And you can see the Brabus floor mats, Brabus aluminum door trim, which is light up. So basically this is G63 interior and with the Brabus uh, engine mode and also Brabus exterior parts. So interior is AMG and it is just gorgeous with this new steering wheel which as you can see is in a carbon fiber and Dynamica and these two 12.3 inch screens they create beautiful cockpit and ambient lighting is like finishing touch to this perfection so as you can see right now it's in a classic and you have a purple sky ambient lighting this is premium plus interior it has also carbon inside so this is just a quick overview I will go in the front seat but you guys wanted to see like a, a more like a whole interior a whole look so yeah I'm in the back seat filming this so yeah it's just gorgeous the steering wheel is different than the normal G500 and also you have Brabus floor mats yeah Bra Brabus door trim so yeah I will now show you in the detail the front also the pedals have a Brabus logo each of them all right guys so I'm in the Brabus 700 on the base of the G63 Mercedes AMG G63 and ambient lighting which is I said it on the purple sky theme we have a quilted leather in the doors also Napa leather here carbon decor and you have a door pocket and also there is like a leather you can see a little bit here is like a leather film or something like that you have electric memory seats fully electric and these are the heated seats ventilated seats and you can lock or unlock the vehicle so if I lock it it's very loud mechanism is like uh, loading a gun or something like that here you have uh, controls for the windows you can uh, fold these beautiful and large mirrors these are the vents which I really like and you have also Burmester sound speaker here which should like mimic the indicator there so if I turn on the indicators here you can see it there flashing in the mirror so yeah it should mimic there and that and you can see this like uh, add-on part from Brabus on the hood so yeah that's unique and here you can see the controls for the lights this is for the active lane keeping assist uh, the distronic and uh, lane keeping assist you can turn off the parking sensors you have a fog light you can select and adjust the brightness of the screen during night then you have a uh, parking lights on uh, just one side these are the parking lights auto lights and main headlights you can release the parking brake if you are being towed and just uh, this is just a gorgeous this steering wheel this is just a fantastic I really like this new steering wheel it's similar to all new AMG's 
and it's flat on the bottom and flat on the sides. In this case, it's half of a carbon fiber. Here we have like a leather on the 12 o'clock and Dynamica is also here. With this area you control the instrument cluster instrument panel and with this one you control the command system. Uh, this is a horn, it's actually in plastic, not uh, wrapped in leather. And you have also AMG logo here. So here you have a pedal shifter, here is a down and here is up. They are very loud. Uh, this is for the uh, washer fluid and indicators. And also you can flash the high beams. So the instrument cluster are really nicely wrapped in this uh, uh, Nappa leather with the stitching and yeah, it's really nice. Here from the A-pillar you have a brushed uh, leather. So um, yeah, really the first class materials. You can see the ambient lighting uh, on the uh, upper part and on the lower part. Here we have a start stop engine button and auto start stop, you can turn it off here. And you have here this iconic, like a styling. Here you have uh, two vents and these are the differential locks. So this is, uh, as you can see, number three, number one and number two. And you can see this is a front and this is a mid. And this is a rear differential. But yeah, what I saw from the terrain, even without turning on these uh, diffs, you can go like uh, in crazy conditions. And then if you turn this, then you can go like, uh, I don't know, on the on the skyscraper. It goes everywhere. So here you can see the dual zone thermatronic unit. And this is uh, from the Mercedes. So we have here also the auxiliary heating, so you can uh, turn this on during winter and it will um, warm up the cabin. You have also here the carbon fiber decor and uh, YWC Schaffhausen analog clock. So this is a premium watchmaker. You have some hotkeys here and also here and you can push this and you can see the two cup holders. And there is a space for your key if it like a rounds out from the battery, you can place it there and then start the button and it will start the engine. Here is also the 12 volt socket. If you press here, it will close. And here you can see also the ambient lighting is here. It's here, it's like everywhere, these lines. It's like uh, re really gorgeous. So with this dynamic select, you can um, Change, slippery mode, individual, comfort, sport and sport plus. And it's also here, the changing is also here. So if I want to show you, comfort, slippery. You can also see here how the parameters of the engine gearbox uh, are changing the exhaust and also the AMG ride control. Here you can turn on the here you can turn on the manual shifting or you can just start to press here and you have also the AMG damping so you can like turn it here from sport to sport plus or comfort you can turn off the stabilization this is for the volume or if you press it then you will turn on the command system here you have an exhaust button so if you press it, it will go from balanced to powerful, which basically is on and off. You have 360 cameras, or I think you need to start the engine. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that a second time. But uh, you've seen this on my reviews. And low range is also like an off-road feature. So if you are in a heavy terrain, then you will press this. So here you have also the decor in the form of carbon fiber, which is a uh, gloss. And here continues the Napa leather, it's like uh, aluminum. And this is iconic thing, this handle. So the passenger can hold, on, hold this when you are going uh, off-road or <laughs> when you have a higher acceleration. So this is like a cool design feature of it. I'm glad they, they keep this here. And here you can see also the glass 
the gloss carbon fiber and here is continuing of the nap leather we have vents there also so I think you can also I can also show you here so this is for the controlling of the command system you can press the home button and then you can swipe here and here you have a armrest a storage space with two USB -A ports SD card slot it's quite deep this is nice and soft uh, leather so these are the optional seats as you can see they are quilted and you can adjust them in many ways you can make them like more narrow so they hug your body more this is also very nice and mm, nice and plush nice and soft so here you have a glove compartment and here you will see some uh, for Brabus these are some yeah some parts and ambient lighting and on the top you have the handle so it's easier to get in for you maybe and this is a really large and you have here also the lights and what is also cool is that you have a microphone here and also the passenger has a microphone so if, if you call with someone you can talk the way you and your passenger to the person on the call and you will have a clear voice both of you here you have in the middle Burmester sound speaker this is for the panoramic window SOS button Mercedes me button and you can also this is auto dimming mirror and you can also put this on the ventilation so this is manual but it's like a, yeah I like that it's manual you can see also here some light so this is like a color so you, if you are driving you just hit uh, this and you like push it there so yeah it's fine it's cool and you can put this on ventilation and if you want to open this like uh, fully then you need to if you want to put it on ventilation you need to just press it up but if you want to open it you need to push this button uh, towards the back like this You can close it only for this amount and if you want to close it then just press it down and I think that's it from the front here you have a cameras you can see the huge housing here for all the cameras and assists and yeah this is nice brushed uh, leather and you have also the seat belts and black seat belt in this car and it is adjustable for the height so yeah very cool and you can also change this and adjust headrest electrically uh, here with that button so yeah very cool interior I really like this and now I want to show you these screens what you can set on them so first thing is you can set this in three modes so you can swipe here and you control as you can see the design so design can be can, right now it's classic and it can be sport or it can be progressive and you have this carbon here and the uh, size of the engine the displacement v8 bar turbo and you can see the speedometer goes to 280 kilometers per hour you have a high range as i showed you the low range so yeah this is, uh, you can see it here, this is your fuel tank and you have a temperature of the water. Here we have a driving mode, right now it's in individual. So if I press it, it will change there as you can see. And you can select now, if you are in this design, you can go to the left and you can see the service. The error messages will be here, here we have a tire temperature and tire pressure for each tire individually assist plus is, in, is for service you can see the coolant temperature engine oil level and consumption and in assistance you will see the distance for the vehicle in front of you and also 
the attention assist so uh, the system will tell you when you need to take a break in AMG performance you can see the boost the first one is the boost and temperature of the engine and the gearbox the second one is the boost and the settings for the engine exhaust stabilization gearbox and AMG ride control the suspension and then you have a G-forces and also this is for the lap times here you have a boost minimum maximum kilowatts newton meters how much you're using at the moment and then in the trip you can see the current speed then the trip and the range consumption eco display uh, from the start and from reset these stats so that's cool and then you have a navigation here so you can put here the map radio this is self-explanatory so yeah and the, in the design if you put it in sport then you have one dial here and it will flash if you go like uh, to, towards the red line so you know, it will tell you visually that you need to shift so that's very cool and you can also change here for example you can put here the MG performance on the left side and if I swipe here you can select what is on the right side so you can have the date or the temperatures of the tires and engine gearbox so you can customize this a lot you can have here the map as you can see so yeah it's pretty cool so I would say uh, that's basically it classic is like uh, I showed you that first progressive is here so yeah my favorite is either the sport or the classic so and also in the classic you can select what is on the right similar to the sport so you can select basically the same things but in different design so you can have here also the navigation if you prefer it or if counter if counter with some uh, temperatures or the g-force and here on the right I wanted to also show you the gear selector is here so if you press it down it will go to drive reverse neutral and parking if you press here the button and here is a command system so you can operate it either with the here with the home button swipe like this or you can use this scrolling here so the first one I want to show you the navigation so this is uh, the new navigation with the live traffic you can enter destination and stuff like that this is uh, also in normal Mercedes a radio this is self-explanatory connect this is for the browser and also you have here the Apple CarPlay Android Auto and in vehicle you have a lot of specific MG things here so for the seats you have a driver's seat and you can uh, turn the massage on so you can have a, for example hot relaxing back and I can feel it now it also shows you what will be hot so in the middle with the red dots in the middle of your back will be hot and the sides will be like normal massage and you have a lot of uh, like uh, massages here you have even active workout for the backrest or for the cushion so then in dynamic seat you can turn on the level one or level two so this will inflate the side opposite to where you are driving so it can hold you better in the seat lumbar support you can basically adjust here how do you want this to work and it's working very well side bolsters you can also right now they are on zero you can inflate them and then the seat will be more narrow so right now it's uh, the most narrow it's, I, I can feel it definitely a lot so I think the the 5 is nice compromise and yeah, it depends on your torso size you can reset everything and climate control you can put into the lot of different modes like a medium focus or diffuse 
you can put the ionization of the air so the air inside of the vehicle is clean and refreshed the ionization is odorless you can have uh, auxiliary heating you can turn this from your phone or from the key fob or you can set this like uh, from a like times when it should uh, like go up like when it should turn on when, when you go to the work uh, every day the same time then you can set it for the specific time and for the rear you can select airflow here so what I did also manually in the rear so in dynamic select you can have the individual configuration of the drive transmission suspension exhaust system and ESP and you can have a user notification so it will notify you for your last uh, driving mode after you start the car engine data this will show you in real time the temperature of the gearbox engine and how much kilowatts and newton meters you are using at the moment vehicle data they will show you how much you are turning the steering wheel the angle here and also where you are going so here we are in the north direction and this is the altitude and you can see also the angles side angle and front rear angle so this is front rear and this is side you have also the accelerator or braking percentage and here you would see also the differentials and actually if I put it right now in the Sport Plus this would look different so you can see here like a racetrack also you would see how much each wheel is using the power when you would drive so dynamic data you can also see during the drive how much uh, power is uh, using at the moment on each wheel and how much is sent to the back and to the front you can see the g-forces here and how much kilowatts newton meters and a boost maximum minimum we are using newton meters are torque in europe kilowatts are same in europe and north america and yeah that's it assistance you have uh, assistance from the mercedes so these are all the newest assistance it can basically like uh, have an autopilot and then consumption well, maybe this is not important to you maybe from the technical standpoint not from the financial standpoint and light settings these are the ambient lights so you can put this in different like multicolor variants so we can see now if I press and put the red moon how this is red as you can see and here it's uh, purple jungle green interesting combinations you have uh, also the same combinations in other Mercedes vehicles like uh, new A-class, CLS, E-class glacier blue you can put it when you go to the Alps maybe so yeah you can create your own uh, like uh, team and your own uh, vibe so color flash this will change the colors during drive and color mix is uh, like everywhere is different colors so here is a green here is like a red you can find here also like red and here green so yeah it puts uh, different colors everywhere as you can see here and if you want just single color you can use 
64 different colors. So that's that. You can set the brightness on the display front and rear on uh, from 0 to 100%. And the most visible during night, during day, is definitely this uh, purple. You can have also the effects, like the welcome. So when you open the car, it will light up. You can have also the climate. So if you change the climate here, this will change also to different color. And yeah, that's it. So for intelligent light system, this is for the multi beams. You can turn it basically off if you prefer. Then these are the deep beams. This will go from the UK to Europe or vice versa. Surround lighting is lighting from the mirrors. And yeah, from the mirrors. Exterior light shadow, this will keep on the lights after you lock the car for this amount of time. And the interior is basically the same. It will light up the interior for this uh, period of time. And yeah, that's it. In vehicle settings, you can set the winter tire limit. So, yeah, you are not going probably this fast during winter, but you can set it. Standby mode, if you go uh, for a longer time away, then you can turn this on. Tow away protection, this is like alarm. Uh, interior motion sensor, bell adjustment, auto folding mirrors, acoustic lock, then automatic door lock, easy exit entry. This will like uh, adjust your seat and uh, steering wheel if you enter or exit the vehicle. This car is very customizable. You can set a lot of things here. In system, you can see like uh, display styles, input, audio, connectivity. So in audio you can select the volume connectivity. This is for the this is for your phone, and yeah, bunch of things here you can select. In different language you can select units like miles, kilometers per hour. You can have additional speedometer and miles, and you can put a lot of profiles. So if you drive and your wife drives the same car, you can put her profile here. Your son or your daughter or your friend, doesn't matter, it will have a, each profile will have a independent and individual settings for the seats and everything basically. So that's great. And this is system backup, pin protection. That's basically it for the command system. This is a brushed leather on the top, it's like a soft, it says like a padding. And here is like a like a jump for head, even though this is like like a huge um, space here. But yeah, you have additional space. Brabus floor mats and Brabus door trim. I showed you that when I entered the vehicle. And the doors are you have a, a heated seats. You have Burmester uh, surround sound system. Door handle with uh, with this beautiful. Uh, ambient lighting, here is also ambient lighting, quilted leather and aluminium and yeah this is also brushed leather belts, seat belts, here you have a light, one hook, seco second hook, here you have uh, vents, these are also similar to other new Mercedes models like the A-Class and E-Class CLS and you have also, you can set the temperature, one temperature for the rear. You can also select the fan, level the fan, or, or in the front if you press auto, it should also make auto here. So here you have some additional storage space. This is for the television. If you have it like optional package, you can see the stitching here. So yeah, just a magnificent interior. Okay, so here we have a pricing of this Brabus 700, which is on the base of the Mercedes-AMG G63. 
the new model and these are the prices in euro without the watt so this is 159,000 euros is base price and then Brabus accessories you can say so the Brabus power extra increasing horsepower from 585 to 700 costs almost 7000 euros and you can see Brabus White Star costs tw almost 25000 so that's uh, the most expensive so this is 225000 euros without the watt and with watt is 270 euros and we can check out these rear seats so the rear seats you have this is like a soft uh, nappa leather and you can open the armrest you have a cup holders here no storage space inside here and here you can you can put and also from the from the boot space and then you can like put here skis or something like that so yeah yeah obviously this is a very soft leather I really like this and you have also this like a headrest this is a like a diamond stitching with perforation very nice padding so yeah just uh, beautiful rear seats and with ambient lighting is just fantastic and I think that's it for the also I forgot to tell you here is also one went so you can move it and here if you turn these you can open or close it so I think that's it for the rear seats yeah. we have then the boot space which is like a like a small room for your dog or something it's huge so yeah I'm just going uh, now in the front so also these are the instructions for the running the engine so under 1000 miles no full load operational kick down temporarily engine speed four and a half rpms Maximum vehicle speed is 85 or 140 km per hour and then after 1000 miles you can increase the load slowly. Yes. So the doors are quite heavy and the clicky sound is just fantastic. So you can see the quilted leather even in the doors inside in the boot space and this is just a special door as you can see this quilted Nappa leather and also the carpet is very soft nice handle old school and spare wheel so this is just uh, wonderful and we can see the brabus floor mats and under the floor mat there is nothing you can't open this is protective foil you have light on the right side speaker on the left side and also some other lights these are the heated window you can close this and the boot space is 454 liters up to the cover if you put it more up and you pour, put some cage there then you have like maybe thousand liters so one light on the top more hooks in the back so yeah this is quite large and you can put a lot of things there you have also little net on the left side and this is a ski hatch so we can close the doors they are quite heavy you need to slam them as always and you can see the genuine Brabus plaque instead of the Schokel plaque next to the driver door on the B pillar and yeah just a fantastic looking interior here alright guys so that's it for this video it was very in-depth and if you enjoyed it then please give this video a like also comment what you think about this vehicle and yeah guys that's it and i will see you soon in the next video take care and have a great day